What's up everybody, it's Bo and I'm back with another video here and familiar face here. If you've been an OG subscriber, go back. This is the owner of the vault, Mr. Matt. What's up guys? Give us some class. <laughs> uh, this is their new location. Just the grand reopening happened yesterday and we're here to check it out. This store's pretty sick, man. Let's get into it. All right, so when you first walk into the store, you got the sneaker wall. Very hard to miss. Matt, tell me a little bit about how this came all together for you. We ended up going with this wall. Uh, I just think it is easy to look through. Also, really high. The peg wall goes super high. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's I think this is like a good height. Anyone could just pull out the shoe and look at it. But yeah, man, this has like almost 800 shoes on it. Obviously, I mean, I don't really have to point it out, but I'm going to anyway. Yeah. Uh, ones. All the way down, probably. I don't. I don't see any twos. There's a all couple. Right. There's a couple. Right, Chicago's right. and all. All right, I see them there. But yeah. you got twos, threes, all the way to fours, fives, sixes. So that's pretty cool. It's yeah. organized left to right by you know the number of Jordan retro that it is, and then you get down to like SBs, Dunks, um, and then your miscellaneous stuff, and then Yeezys at the bottom. But guys, as you see in this video, it is Sunday. Um, he just opened yesterday. And we yeah. came through, we just kind of wanted to support him, just say what's up, see the store, obviously super dope. He had a line wrapped around the building. Sure. We're gonna get to why it looks really good, if you wanna look up real quick. That, uh, <laughs> that is my favorite part of the store because sure. it makes everything else better, in my opinion. And yeah. we'll get to that a little bit later. But I know you just opened, but what have people been gravitating to so far? Is it different from your first location or is it Sam similar? Have you noticed a trend yet? Jordan 4s. I mean, I mean, do I even gotta say it? Yeah. Uh, SB4s, more in particular, SB4s, obviously, that's yeah. the shoe. We just got our first pre-owned pair today, actually. Really? Sold really? today as well, obviously. Easy. Yeah, I knew those were gonna go, go be quick. It was a size nine, 300 bucks, so. Easy, yeah. yep. I saw uh, that on the gram. If you guys wanna go follow, follow the ball on the gram. Do. They do throw up some steals on there. And by now, the website is live, balldtx.com. Yeah. They throw the steals up there, too, and they go quick. So be ready. Yes, but. But yeah, continue. No, it's definitely, definitely fours. Um, I don't want to say once I've died because there's, it's it's Jordan Order One. It's classic. It's like it's timeless. Uh, there's definitely colorways that move. And honestly, if you price them cheap enough, they'll move. Like, I know a Heritage is pretty much a brick, but under 200 bucks, they're gonna move. Right. Stuff like, I don't know, taxis for 200 bucks, they're gonna move. Mm -hmm. Lecture Orange is 150. Like, it's gonna sell if you right. price it cheap enough. They're not the most in-demand hype shoe right now, but again, I think our prices are pretty fair, so they're gonna move for what we put them at. We'll get to the like actual shit in here in a minute, but we actually, we do like some like actual like old SBs that you don't see every day. We had a, more, a lot more earlier today, but we sold we sold the new castles already, we sold nice. a few, but yeah, we, I mean, we, we do some like stuff you don't see every day, I guess. Mm -hmm. Cause this is, this is all cool, but you know, you see it all the time. All right, so we're at the cash counter, all right? This is where the money's made. <laughs> but let me tell you right now, Go get your vault hats if they're still available. Limited yeah, quantities actually on pretty these. Limited. I'm not gonna lie. Dang. This is the first time we've ever done hats, so I kind of I'm just gonna, I'm just testing the waters. Yeah. How do you think they came out? How do you like Sick. it? Sick. I mean, if y'all follow me on my personals or anything, Stussy's a big part of my life. <laughs> but yeah. You should see his car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a big Stussy guy, man. I've honestly grown up with it. My dad has been always been into it. He's kind of put me on since I was like really young. So mm -hmm. yeah, Stussy's obviously the inspiration for this hat. I love it. I love how it came out. Fits yeah. really nice too. Yeah, you know? it fits pretty nice on my dome too. <laughs> all right, time you've been waiting for. We got to the heat. All right, look at this right here. Just this whole display is unbelievable to me. If you guys watch the sneaker shopping episodes with JLP, shout out to JLP, but Stadium Goods, Flight Club, this is the type of thing that you would see in a store like that. And to come into a local store, ran by Mr. Matt here, <laughs> who I've known for a while now, this sure. is pretty legendary. I mean, just the right when you walk in, this is the first thing you see straight ahead. It just, I, if I came into a store first time and saw this, I'd be like, God dang. <laughs> like, I'd have to come see this, get you in the back of the store, and then you have to see everything on the way out or through it. Yes. Maybe that's just how it turned out, but you did a good job <laughs> making this like super, you know, attractive to a customer to come yeah. in and look at it. Just give me a rundown of, you know, this awesome display piece right here. Yeah, I mean, obviously you said like the sneaker shopping episode, it's obviously kind of inspired by that stadium goods kind of look, but uh, I just don't feel like there's anything like this in DFW. Like, I don't know. Maybe there's display cases, but they're not yeah. full of the stuff that's in here and they, how nice they look. I, don't right. know. I think this was just really important. We had 
at the last door our counter was kind of our display case mm -hmm. but it didn't hold much and it was kind of not well like shown i guess like the lighting wasn't really good on it well I it's like, like down like below yeah, your down hip, there you know a lot of people were like wouldn't, wouldn't even see it they'd be like where are the travises and i'd have to like point them out because they're kind of low and yep. stuff obviously you can't miss the travises here anyway travis section right here got a ton of pairs got the sixes air maxes fours air forces one lows one highs they even got a fragment high in there not a lot of stores got that. Is that brand new too? Yeah, 14. If any wow. or something need it. Wow, that's too big for me. <laughs> Jeez. But obviously great stuff here. And then I know we're going to get to all of them, but man, I am a sucker for some cause figures, man. You got the good ones. So I actually have this set, the open set down here, the blue, the black, and the pink. BFF? Yeah, yeah. that one is one of my favorites. Um, I, this one's really sick. I have like the bigger version of that one, but if you want to just like pan, like they've got so many down here that i wish i had enough money to bankroll all this but <laughs> let's just say those are not cheap okay so dude to know. be honest with you man this dude like the last again the last two weeks we were open really? this dude just came in and he was like hey i have like a closet full of cause are you guys buying them i was like i mean yeah for the right price i'll buy them mm -hmm. um and he came in every single day for the last two weeks that we were open with like two or three pieces and that just ended up being like we've already sold like four in the last yeah. couple of days but like literally just for the last two weeks, he came in like every day with, with like some something crazy. Mm. Like these flades, dude. Those are super rare. That black one with the mm. pink like insides. Mm. That one's crazy, dude. We'll move on to the off whites, dude. This is again just another great section here. Some highlights are definitely the Air Forces up there. Those are the MCAs. Yes, Sorry, sir. I totally just blanked. Um, Brooklyn's ICAs. OG Blazers, you don't see those very often. I know that one is size 13, my 13, size. Yeah. It's been there since, it's been there for a I'm while. I'm telling you, man, they don't move. They don't move. <laughs> I brought some in to see if we could trade some, but he's not taking them. So sorry, don't dude. come in the vault and try to sell those, okay? <laughs> Unless you want to take like 100 bucks, all right? No, I'm not about that. <laughs> just get your money somewhere else, dude. I, I don't want to have to offer you that. They just don't move, bro. I love them. They're classic. They are really good. Like, yeah. Honestly, yeah, but that's a good one. don't move, bro. But then you even got off-white lot dunks. Those the, move. The OG dunks down here. The only one he doesn't have is the green one. I remember during COVID, that was one shoe I put all the unemployment money into. Yeah. Like, that was a great hold because those were at like 400 bucks. They're like close to a G now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. I think I got them off for like 750 each. Yeah, that's solid. That's, that's, solid. that's solid. Um, and then I think this, I mean, Matt, this one up here, I mean, a lot of value up here. Yeah. He's got not one, not two, not three, but four Yeezy 2 Nike Yeezys, which is incredible to see in a store. I think if I had to guess, they look all used. Yeah. Okay. One of them's like stupid. That, that I can see the, the the one in the middle right there looks stupid. Yeah, this one's insane. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. This one so this insane. one looks, dude, like he walked to take his dog out and then went back home. Yeah, those, that one's insane. <laughs> dude, and these are all walk in, dude. Like literally just really? come walk, brought them in. Dang and we actually had a. I already have a pair. I have two pairs. Matt, we're going to need to come over to the crib at some <laughs> yeah, point. Some point. Because yeah, Matt, yeah. I don't know if you guys actually, he did a collection video with him and Logan a, like what, a couple months ago. Yeah, last December. Uh, yeah. When they did that video, oh my goodness. Go watch that video. It actually has a lot of views. By yeah, the way. it actually did really well yeah. for us. I mean, our, our YouTube channel is pretty small. Yeah, right? by the way, yeah. If you want to go subscribe to him too, their well, best video, I know for a fact, is when you uh, did the Overgrown. Yeah. That, that video really blew well. up. Because yeah. I watched people, like when I was out of town on yeah. shows or at other, um, other sneaker stores, they had that on the screen. And I was like, really? Yeah. That's pretty sick. I was like, that's my really guy. That's pretty dope. Um, so really cool dude that you guys have, because these are all wearable too, which yeah, is- Yeah, we actually sold, I, I don't know if, I, if anybody does follow the Instagram, we sold one of them in the steals. Did you see that? Oh yeah, the no box, yeah. it was like, what, 1500, 1500 I think? 1500. I saw the guy post them, he looked yeah. really happy about was, it. 1500 You're never gonna be able steal, to do that again, bro. like literally steal. never again. So that that's dope. such a steal. So obviously I know, I know, but they don't, they may not know. I know the Pure Platinum is your favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then for the solar, and I know you don't really like the red Octobers. It's not my vibe. Yeah. Not See, I'm the opposite. I, I love the reds. That's yeah. my favorite shoe. Yeah. So, but all right, let's keep the working. So we sold was... some crazy shit today. I wish you would have. Like, Dang, we really? Sold the, we sold the CPFM over. We sold the, the unreleased pair. Oh, we the, sold the, the flea. The flea. Yeah, one. we sold that one today. We sold the Newcastles today. We sold the Stussies today. The Stussy oh, <laughs> SBs. The the, one? Yeah, the 2005. Uh, but as you can tell, they still got SBs. I mean, you got red lobsters here um, with the band there, and then you have. I mean, run it down, Matt. This is this is your category yeah. here. Um, like I said, we sold the Stussies. I wish that we could have shown those, but yeah, those those were gone. Um, Goofy Boys, this is a size 14, another size 14. We have a lot of size 14s. If anybody needs a, bro, if any hoopers or anything, any big boys are watching, bro, we have a shit ton of size, like quality 14s. Um, Gibsons, this was my pair. A lot of my old personals come here. Um, 
I'm again they're at good prices. We have these at five seventy five, like literally almost passes DS really dude, clean. like insanely clean, really clean. Um Clivers, y'all have seen those. This is our first pair of retails, bro. I cannot get these, bro. I literally cannot buy these. Uh yeah, two lobsters right here. This almost sold today too, but he ended up going with the overgrowns. Or hmm. uh, not the overgrowns, the OGs, but, the unreleased pair. Yeah. Uh, eight and a half OG all like stupid clean, and this one's uh, this one's also clean, but it's a nine. It doesn't have OG all, but mm. it's also pretty solid. Still. Nice. We get shit like this all the time. If you follow us on Instagram, yeah. you're gonna see this kind of stuff. They have an SB page too. If you yeah. want to go follow them, we'll plug that down below too. Dot SB. Uh, DS ray guns. Mm. Pretty insane. Mm. Uh, a really slept on one of my favorites, the Shanghai twos. These are really nuts. This kind of gives me like a Travis kind of vibe, honestly. Definitely. Really dope shoe. Um. Man, these are, we got we got some heaters, man. Uh, the Day of the Dead's insane shoe. I remember you picked up a pair of these personal Senior Con Dallas last mm -hmm. year, right? I remember that. Yeah, I got a twelve. That one For a steal, yeah. By the way, it we won't we nuts. won't say what it was. It was pretty nuts. Yeah. We got these today, the mommies. You guys have seen these before, I'm yep. sure. Um, another size fourteen, Grateful Dead. <laughs> Jeez, and then a size ten, Supreme. Nice. And yeah. a great segue into probably your favorite part. Yeah, I yeah. I, I knew it. I yeah. knew it. See, I'm. <laughs> I'm out of touch with this kind of stuff, but I would say the vault is known for having old stuff. And if you bring in like an old pair or something, even if it's crumbled, not wearable, they'll buy it for the right price and they'll just to display it. Because I mean, we'll get to this section over here. It's just a lot of pairs that may not be wearable. There's a couple in the, the table, but I mean, this is just something you never see. And that's why I love like you guys are like 25 minutes away because yeah. this is something that you don't see. You see this shit in New York, bro. Like only New exactly. York, Chicago, stuff like this. Yeah, exactly. Just uh, run it down, man. I'm going to get these two out. I can't pick these up. You're going to have to just zoom in on these because these are like literally just fall apart in my hands. But these two are 85 bread size 13 MJ size. So like literally insane. I got an offer for these at the last store for 4.5. I didn't take it. How much do you think they're worth realistically? Honestly, probably that. Probably I'm right. not even gonna lie to you, but it's just like, when am I gonna get this again? Yeah. Ever? How am I gonna find it? Like when? It's true. I had this. I've had this pair forever, dude. Mm. I've had this was in my personal collection just as a display piece. Yeah. I've had them for like four years, and I just wow. I was like, I don't. And they have definitely appreciated in value. Oh, yeah. Well, this was, I have. I've had these before the last dance, all that shit. So like, wow. yeah, I mean, size 13, MJ size, like stupid clean. They even saw some stars on the bottom, dude. Like, it's pretty nuts. Um, and again, yeah, you don't see this stuff in stores and. South Lake, Texas, dude. No, like, you don't. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. So, bread 85s, MJ size, pretty nuts. And then one of the cleanest pair of neutral grays I've ever seen in my life. It's size eight and a half. Dang. Um, my pair's a lot more beat than this. I wish they looked like this, but again, they still have st like a decent amount of store stars on the toe box, which is pretty nuts. Like pillowy soft collars, y'all know these get super crunchy. That one's crunchy, but this one's like super soft. Like, yeah, yeah real quick. I know you actually dropped this tip a while ago in one of your videos. Can you sh tell the people what you kind of said about how you can test like if these are yeah. wearable, you know, how, how durable they are? I don't have a non-wearable pair here, but like it would literally just sound like you're tapping on plastic. You kind of hear that like rubbery sound when you hit it. It's got like a rubbery like, you could tell it still has like tack to it, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like it has good grip and then obviously these are still like squishy and soft. Mm -hmm. This would literally, just, you'd literally hear like a crunch like of a bag, like, mm -hmm. like you're eating chips. Like that's literally what it would sound like. Yeah. He's walked into the last store. Dude. Um, Those are crazy. Yeah, it's a dead stock pair of 99 breads. Uh, literally OG all, the OG tag, the OG retro card. Insane, dude. Um, and then, yeah, these are pretty nuts, too. This is a Shaq shoe. These were his. Um, it's a size 20, I think. Yeah, it's a size 20. US size 20. <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, a lot of people think they're beat, but they're not. They just, the materials that they used on here, it just doesn't age well. It mm. cracks and falls apart, but they're... You, you could tell they're not worn at all. He probably practiced them once or wore them once to a game, and that was it. You're you're 13, right, bro? Yeah, I'm a size 13. <laughs> yeah, that's dang. pretty ridiculous, dude. Dang, that's, that's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, that's huge, and actually, dude. you know, in his rookie year, he didn't even have his right size. Did you know that? Really? So he wasn't even a 20. He was a 22 or 23. One of the two. That's right. He was way bigger than yeah, 20. Yeah, because yeah. he was like squeezing into like 19s and 18s his whole life. So then he, when he got to Reebok, he was like, "Yeah, those were have been a little bit tight for me. I think I'm a 20." And no, he was like a 22, 23. So his rookie year, he was wearing a, like two sizes still too small. Dang. So like a lot of people don't know that. But yeah. That's a cool fact. That's yeah. cool. Um, yeah, and that's just some more shit. Just yeah. Union stuff. Trophy rooms, 14 mm -hmm. again. Uh, this is a cool one. The 2011 uh, bands with the X on the back. These are numbered, right? Are these numbered? Yeah, those are those are nuts. I don't know if they're numbered. I don't. I think they're just dated. Yeah, they're dated, yeah. Those are nuts. Really dope shoe. Does this have the box too? Dude, the yeah. box is... Yeah. Mm. 
If these were a half size bigger, they definitely wouldn't be here right yeah, now. For but sure. uh, this size 11, I need at least 11 and a half. These are, those are crazy. These are, up, these are up there with one of the best quality Jordan, Jordans ever. You can see it from here. Yeah, it's, it's actually good. insane, dude. Like, every, every panel, too. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, like, yeah. a 2016 bread, the black part will be pretty shit. But, yeah. like, this, this everywhere yeah, is insane, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. This so. leather is just, like... Yeah, you can tell, oh dude. Goodness. Can you tell, like, just the, yeah. the color and everything? I hope the camera can... I know Alex got that good, good camera. So, hopefully, we can pick yeah, this I up think so you guys can see it, but... The black, I think you made a great point. The black leather is usually the one that doesn't come through. Yeah. This, this uh, the whole is thing. nuts, dude. And another thing with these, another cool thing with these, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but they didn't release like anywhere except mm -hmm. for outlets. Right. Um, just to kind of pay respect to the original bands, mm -hmm. they just released them at like literally just random outlets throughout the country and they never dropped it like any store or anything. Um, just because the original ones got banned and they That's weren't right. selling well because right. MJ wasn't wearing them. Mm -hmm. um, until obviously he decided they didn't give a crap and get find every five every yeah. five thousand every game ds yeah. shatter backboards um another shattered and then some some union force yeah just you guys have seen casually yeah. casually <laughs> i mean dude what a great case um obviously that's just about half the store so let's work work over to the vintage yeah. side because the vault is known for streetwear and their vintage as well um which is really cool because honestly vintage had a peak for a little bit and now it's just becoming more, more normalized, I guess to say. Yeah, it's definitely mainstream. And now. Um, now it's like, I feel like there's a lot more people that are back into vintage. Yeah. It's becoming maybe not more competitive per se, but I would, I would say there's a lot more people that are looking for it, but more people are also supplying it. Yeah. So it's hard now. I think when that vintage wave started, you could probably speak on it better because you obviously have the yeah. store, but you could charge a little bit higher for vintage tees just because like, oh, it's the wave, it's the wave, it's the wave, and not a lot of people are doing it. And now I feel like you could get vintage a little easier. Yeah, it's cheap. You know, right? But honestly, the cheaper tees move a lot better. Right, exactly. Like we have grails here. Like you little, like I'll show you some that are like, insane to find but they're not going to sell because they're 200 bucks yeah. well before we jump completely into the vintage over there let's get into their shirts they how many shirts have you done now is it five yeah i guess we could just go through them uh this is the this is the like the essential one this one's just like the the basic just everyday tea i think we've done like yeah five or six i remember uh, when you texted me about that one yeah that's just like the eh. yeah you told me to put this in the middle didn't you or you told me to it was either that one or the pocket yeah, yeah, like yeah. a pocket v but I think, no, no, no. i was originally just going to put this on the front and then yeah, you yeah. said we should probably do something on the front yeah yeah, yeah light like, on the front on the big front, back big on the back yeah that was, those turned that was, out really good yeah that was definitely the right call definitely yeah, the right if call. you guys so if you guys want to go grab one <laughs> go on the vault or vault dtx yeah vault dtx.com and then uh mjt this is like our og this is what started all for us what started all for everything in my opinion the culture in general um mj this we dropped this out grand opening a year ago um and then we've got Rodman, this one did pretty well for us too. Uh, this one dropped Black Friday of last year. Uh, we've got Kobe, this one dropped 824 of last year, August 24th of last year. One of my favorites. Um, and then my favorite graphic tee for sure that we've done is the Shaq. This one's just nuts. It spells out the vault with the shattered glass of him like breaking the backboard. It's a dope That's one. That's a fire tee. Probably my favorite one. Yeah. Probably a little detail I like too. They got the, the V. Tags, yeah. How cool is that? Like, I, I think that's cool. I don't know if you guys will like that, just, but it I, it's it like a little a, cool detail. Yeah, it gives it a good touch. It's a good touch yeah. for sure. So the, you know, the Shaq tee is the only one I don't have right now, but I'll definitely have one. And then they also have the, they have the grand opening tee as well. Yeah, that's the one I'm wearing right now. the one he's wearing right now. Uh, this was really cool. I thought this was just like a, like a thing you put on the gram. Yeah. But then to see it on a tee, I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty sick. Do you know what this is based off of? I actually don't. It's actually based off of this. So when MJ left, Obviously. Oh, no way. Yeah. So this is the newspaper that like came out whenever he announced that he was back. Um, so we obviously closed for a month and then we're back. Uh, so it's pretty much an exact copy except we switched up some stuff. Like the vault had only one thing to say instead of Michael Jordan had only one thing to say. And then the grand so, opening date. Yeah, I see that. July 1st, 2023, the grand opening date. That's dope. Um, doors will open at 11 a.m. And on the newspaper, it says he'll play the Pacers at 11 a.m. <laughs> That's so cool. Um, uh, it says 11 a.m. today. And then we said the doors will open at 11 a.m. today. And then right here, it's on the original newspaper, it says coming Monday, a special section of Michael Jordan's first game. And on, for us, it says coming Friday, full day at the shop, season two, episode one, which is like our thing, like our kind of vlog thing that we do here yeah, on YouTube. That's going to be really cool because yeah. uh, the grand opening video should be live right now for you guys because yeah. um, we're going to post this after. So you guys can go check that one out first about how the grand opening went. Uh, obviously, you talked about it a little bit earlier. Look. Crazy. What I wanted to get into is your vintage. Yeah. I think that this stuff we talked about last time that, you know, it's much easier for somebody to walk in and leave with a vintage tee or mm -hmm. a vault tee because, you know, shoes can really get expensive. And um, I think also with the market, it's hard 
to come in here and just be like, okay, I'm going to drop a bag on, yeah. on some shoes. For sure. uh, but coming in here and getting affordable vintage tees is something that's really cool that they offer. Um, maybe, I know that you probably know this wall pretty well. Yeah. Point out maybe some of your favorites. My favorites aren't going to be very affordable. <laughs> I'll tell well, you that. Well, how about, yeah. how about, uh, I'll show you some of my favorites. throw in like one affordable one, but, okay. but show the people what your favorites. Cause I, I yeah. Bulls wrap tee. Uh, this is like <sighs> the coolest tee probably in the store. That's heat. Not very affordable, but uh, this is a grail. 450? Yeah. I mean, this is just, it's market, bro. It's actually what they go for. Like that's literally just, that's crazy, bro. It's actually not even like a crazy prize. Like I swear to God. All right. This so one's pretty nuts. Uh, an AOP MJT. I'm a big LeBron guy, as you guys can tell. I'm joking, MJ. <laughs> but uh, yeah, <laughs> we love uh, we love ourselves some MJ. Uh, honestly, dude, we have really good vintage. Like, there's really no like BSTs in here. Like, they're yeah. all fire. Like, this is the Harley tail I was talking about. Um, the 3D emblem, so sick. Mm. Uh, I mean, <laughs> affordable. I I would say that with like 40 bucks, like that's a good price, right? Yeah, like, sure. Let's go with that. Like we have like, you know, just like your typical like Cowboys and Packers tees, like just like your good sports tees that like are just well-priced mm -hmm. that you don't have to break, break the bank for and right. something different too. Cause obviously vintage is very hard. It's going to be very unlikely that you walk by someone that's wearing the same vintage tee that you're wearing. You know what I mean? Mm. That's what I think is really true about it. Dude. Yeah. This is so sick. All right. This tee, I was here yesterday. This is the coolest Bulls tee that I found yesterday. And it's a double X, which is very hard to find. Double right. X and vintage is very hard to find. But just the graphic on here and the puff print. And it's dead stock. Dude. It's brand new. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it's 150, which isn't even that bad at all. I'm, you know. God, this is so bad. I might leave with this. I've been easing up on the vintage, honestly. Like, this is just like a Hanes tee, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I, I'm more into, I, like, the sneakers. I just be wearing my, my shit now, dude. Now that we've made so many tees i just i wear my stuff so uh, let's just let's just like do a fit check let's just do a fit check because because <laughs> if you guys watch any of the vlogs i already know what pants he's wearing Stussy pants duh Stussy Stussy pants, pants and then uh these are actually my dad's reverse mochas not gonna lie to y'all really? are they yeah, too I, small no i gave them to him for i gave them to him for his birthday but i wore my what the dunks yesterday and i spent the, i spent the night Whoa, at my parents house back up oh. or the what the dunks yesterday yeah you saw him <laughs> the camera. Yeah, I wore the, the dunks yesterday. I wore the what the dunks the grand opening yesterday, and I spent the night at my parents' house, so I was wearing his reverse mochas. I gave him to him for his birthday. That's so cool. Um, but yeah, then my wee back tee, and then vault hat, man. Yeah. Always it's weird not seeing you in the, the LA hat. This is going to be the new one. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the new one. And you know, he had the blessing with the hat too, Haynes tee. Actually, some common hype contrast shorts, and uh, the Phantoms. This is my first time wearing my Phantoms. All right, before we wrap it up here, Matt mentioned the table earlier. I remembered coming to the grand opening yesterday and I saw the fours in there and yeah, I remembered that those crumbled. That's that pair you were talking about, right? Yep. Um, just kind of run down what's in the table right here. And by the way, this table's sick. Thank you, man. Thank you. So cool. Uh, you got the, when the original NY Pigeons dropped, uh, like a little paper book open right there. Cause I think that's like a very monumental moment in sneaker history. Um, some of the air trainers in the chocolate colorway. Those also, also, we bought those um, in this huge dead stock, like 90s buyout. Um, a 99 pair of Metallic 5s, those are actually still wearable. Um, my 04 Classic Greens I was talking about, not wearable, as you can see. Um, I thought they were, but they weren't. <laughs> Some of the hemp, these came from my boy Costa. He donated the dooms to us too. They just broke on it. He was wearing them to school and they broke. Um, another pair of 85s with the original 85 box. Um, if you guys know that, that 85 box is actually worth a shit ton of money. It's kind of stupid, but those boxes alone are worth like a few hundred bucks to a thousand dollars if you have the lid and everything. But that's an 85 metallic with the original box. Um, some 05, I think, olive fives. I think those are retroing soon. Um, my boy Kalen gave me those after they also broke <laughs> on him. Oh man, I just appreciate the time. Obviously, Matt, super proud of you, man. I know that when I first went to the first location and we talked off camera in the back room, I said, dude, I can't wait to come back and see where you get from here. You remember yeah, that? It's crazy, and it, man, yeah. it is crazy how much yeah. you grew, man. Like, I, I honestly didn't think you would grow that fast, but either, you man. still, like, I think you started, what, with, like, two shelves? Like, they were longer shelves, but they were, you know, front and back, yeah. and that was it in the back of that store. Yeah, one, one rack. Yeah, it, one, dude, one, I remember one that. And then by the end of that store, you had a whole room yeah. that was, like, an extra dressing room type storage closet yep. that was full of pairs. And I remember you telling me about we gotta we gotta get a bigger space yeah. we gotta you know do this and to see him kind of just spit it all out and we get to see it out here is just 
Awesome. So I'm happy, man. Yeah. One of our one of our own DFW OG sneakerhead guys opening his own store, second store technically reopening. Right? Real, yeah, grand reopening. If you guys want to go follow the vault, follow Matt as well. We'll throw up the Instagrams on there as well, um, and obviously go subscribe to their YouTube channel. I think they're almost at six thousand subs, which is really awesome. The growth there, because yeah. YouTube is really hard to grow on. Not easy. You know, yeah. So help help me out too. All right, maybe subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Oh, but yeah. uh, thank you so much for having us. Um, obviously, this is number one spot that I go to if I ever need anything. Thank you. If I'm buying from here or if I'm getting stuff from here on the videos, you already know. That's how you know the prices are really good. Stay tuned. Leave a like down below uh, if you want to see a collection video from Matt. Um, we actually just finished filming my own personal collection video. You got some heat, dude. Oh, you got some stuff. You know, <laughs> a little something. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and you guys have a great day.